I'm Connie Zemmelman, and I'm a judge in Lucas County Juvenile Court. When you think about your career, is there something, and you've done so much, is there something in your heart that sticks out as most important to you, the thing you would consider to be, I want this to be my legacy? One area that I have really focused on during my time on the bench has been the human trafficking of juveniles. Um, I helped write the Safe Harbor Act. I became aware of human trafficking through a delinquency case that I was presiding over when I was probably just on the bench maybe two years. And as after I saw that, I knew that I wanted to really make a difference in that area and help these victims of human trafficking. I'm looking at your bio and of course you've been recognized in so many different ways. This particular award, the Milestones, recognizing women who are trailblazing in these different areas, does that have special significance to you, the fact that this one is specifically for women doing the work they do? It does. It, it really matters to me because it, I had very few role models when I started as a lawyer, and so I feel that I can offer a lot to younger women who are just starting out and um, celebrate the fact that they don't have to deal with some of the issues I did when I started, but I hope that I can be a role model to many of them. My daughter is a lawyer, and she's told me that I've been a real role model to her, which is probably the most important thing to me. I have focused a lot of my time on trafficking, drug court, and trauma all together. So I'm on a trafficking coalition, I'm on a trauma coalition, and, I, and I'm on the opiate coalition in Lucas County, and they all, have, they all overlap. Your goal is not to punish the crime. Your goal is to figure out why it happened. Your mission is to rehabilitate. Exactly. Even the kids we see here, most of them are good kids, and none of them woke up one day and said, I want to be a bad kid or I want to get in trouble. So much, the pull of the streets and, and you know the background that they come from, it, it makes a huge difference in their lives. You mentioned there weren't a lot of women in the field when you got into being a lawyer. Was there a woman, though, whether it be in the profession or out of the profession, who was a role model to you? My mom was a role model to me. She was a school teacher and she was the first woman in her family to go to college. And she was strong and she would always, and patient, she taught the slower kids, you know, the kids that really struggled in math in high school, um, which was great for me because she helped me out a lot with that. <laughs> it was such a loving person and sacrificed so much for our family. But she would always remind me that if she could go to college at the time she did, I can do anything that I want. What is the one piece of advice you mentioned these incoming classes now majority female? What's the one piece of wisdom that you would want to share? What would it be? Treat people with respect, be honest, and listen more than you talk.